Hey guys, welcome to my channel Linux King. My name is Salman Francis and in today's video of our Let's Learn DevOps series, we will take a look at video number two of Git. And in this video, we are going to take a look at how we can upload data from local repository to remote repository and vice versa. So in order to upload data or send data from local repository to remote repository, first uh, a thing what we would uh, require is a GitHub account. So uh, let's go to our web page and check how we can create a Git, uh, GitHub account. So first go to this page, github.com. I hope you guys already know how to create account, but if you don't, so just go to github.com, click here, sign up, and it will ask for your username and email address and the password, and you can sign up for GitHub. So I have already done that, so I can just sign in to my uh, GitHub account. Uh, with my username and password so once i am logged in i can do a couple of things uh, for example create the repository create the project and stuff like that so let's go back to our slide okay so the second step is to create a repository uh, in github account and no need to initialize it since we want to push data from our local repository to the remote so let's do that So to create a repository, we can simply just click here to the plus button and create, uh, click here new repository. Okay, and it uh, we can create any repository here, any name, so I can call it DevOps Learning or, okay, so this is a test repository for DevOps training. So let's call this, uh, uh, like this description, of course it's optional, but we can always, uh, it's always helpful. And okay, so this is going to be a public repository and we can choose a private repository, but that would be private. So uh, I'm going to create a public repository and here I'm not going to initialize this since I'm going to send data from my local repository to this remote one. Once this is done, you just click on create repository and here it is. It will tell you that the repository has been created. Okay, and it's now it's telling you how you can uh, push data from your existing repository from the command line and how you can then send data from your local to remote repository. Okay, so we are not going to close this page. I'm going to go back to the slide and we need to continue with our third step. And the third step is to, for this demo, we will create a local repository, create a directory in it and initialize it. So let's do that. So I'm going to go into my OPT directory and let's check if we already have Git. If you remember, we already have it. So, okay. So, I'm going into gitworks directory again, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a directory here. So make directory devops dash training. Let's do that. Okay, and now if I check git status, you can see it's showing me nothing to commit. The reason is uh, there is no s file in this directory. So let's create a file in this directory. Go into this file, uh, DevOps, touch a file index.html, let's call it. And in this index.html, we are going to add some data. Let's say HTML, H1, this is a, DevOps training and I'm going to just close this. Okay, now once this is done, if I come out of uh, this directory and now get status, will reveal that there's something has been changed or something has been added. So this means that the DevOps training has been added before it was not showing us. So now we need to git add 
DevOps and the file of course which was index.html and now if I take a look at get status it will show me that there is a new file it's called uh, DevOps training slash index.html okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this DevOps training ls-a and you can see that git is not initialized in this directory rather it's initialized in our first directory okay now what we need to do git status will reveal that a new file is in staging area so we need to commit the changes so how we can commit the changes we can git commit and then need to type the message that added heading okay only added heading and here is uh, the commit is successful okay how we we can check it by git status and now it's saying nothing has been uh, nothing to commit so this means everything is good okay now we have uh, accomplished three tasks first of all uh, sorry first task was to create our account on github then second was to create a repository and third is like to create this uh, make a directory on our local uh, local computer okay now we have already checked the status as well so status was like uh, showing us that everything is done we committed the changes and now third step is we need to push it to remote repository so in order to do that we have already created the repository you can see and the description of the repository we have already added everything is there let's go to our repository okay here is our repository devops learning and here you can click on ssh okay because we are going to uh, push our repository via ssh okay now you can copy this address here right click copy and then you need to follow this uh, step like get remote add origin this step like you can copy this instead So it's saying that git remote add origin my bad it's duplicating actually so copy and paste so here it's saying that git remote so we are going to send uh, this data to our remote repository and add the origin origin being github so just add it to our uh, uh, you can say just add this repository to our local computer once this is added you can check this with git uh, remote dash v and it's telling you that in order to push you need this address and in order to fetch you need the same address so that's fine this means that our uh, repository has been added now what we are going to do is we need to push our data okay so to push our data you'll use this and since we are using the master branch how we can know that it's a master branch if we click on git, git status you can see that we are on master branch okay now if I'm going to push my data it's asking for the fingerprints okay my like data or uh, how I'm going to connect to my github I'll say yes and it's telling me that the permission is denied okay I have done this on purpose the reason is many people have this issue and they don't know how to fix it 
So for that purpose, I'm going to create another video. So just watch that video and you will successfully, uh, you would be able to successfully connect to your Git, uh, Git account, GitHub account, and you would be able to push the data. So come back again, check my third video, and we will continue uh, from there. Till then, goodbye. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.